from complex technologies like the mobile phone that we have in our pocket, or the recently developed COVID-19 vaccines, to more simple ones like the ballpoint pen, innovation is all around us in our daily lives. My name is Pedro Faria, and I'm Professor of Innovation Management at the Faculty of Economics and Business of the University of Groningen in the Netherlands. While innovation is a very simple concept to understand, the processes that lead to it are often complex and prone to failure. In my research, I try to understand these processes by investigating how firms organize their innovation activities. In the next couple of minutes, I want to highlight two of my recent studies. New technologies do not come from a vacuum. Firms create them by recombining already existing knowledge. One way to access knowledge is by cooperating with other organizations. In my work together with Omer Koch from the Stockholm School of Economics in Sweden and Dries Farms from VAU Otto Bernsheim School of Management in Germany, we investigate how firms use knowledge from cooperation partners in their innovation activities. We find that the most useful knowledge is the one that comes from partners that make unique combinations. However, we also find that too much uniqueness also brings challenges. When the knowledge coming from a cooperation partner is too unique, firms have difficulties to understand it and to use it in their innovations. Employees also play an important role transferring knowledge between organizations. In another study, conducted together with Andreas Distel from the Rotterdam School of Management in the Netherlands, Wolfgang Sofka from the Copenhagen Business School in Denmark, and Antonio Ribeiro and Miguel Torres Preto from the University of Lisboa in Portugal, we explore how hiring former entrepreneurs helps subsidiaries of multinationals improve their performance. While working at a startup, entrepreneurs develop a particular set of skills that help them to recombine knowledge and resources in unique ways. Our findings show that these skills are particularly useful for subsidiaries of multinationals. The subsidiaries benefit from the flexibility that is brought by someone with entrepreneurial experience to complement their often too structured activities. In sum, by using detailed information on uh, cooperation activities of firms and human capital flows within organizations, my research brings light to the knowledge sharing processes that lead to innovation activities. Okay.